Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I straighten my hair since it is silk press season. So I went ahead and I'm starting off with my hair is fully washed and conditioned and all that. And I put my hair into six braids, uh, three on each side. And I only did this because I wanted my hair to fully be dry when I got to it. Cause I washed my hair and I let it sit in these braids for a couple of days just so I could make sure it was dry. Also, I didn't really wanna to have to blow dry my hair. You'll see that in a little bit here that I barely have to use it. Um, and I went ahead, I don't know why I took my hair out of all the braids at once. I should have did one braid at a time so I don't have all this hair to work with, but I did that, took it out, and I just had to pin the front up. So I'm showing my flat iron, not my flat iron, my blow dryer and my comb, and I also had to use a heat protectant. This part, I only section, or I only um, blow dried this one section. I didn't do my whole head because I really didn't feel like doing it. I'm not even all that good at blow drying my hair for real, so I didn't even like want to do the rest of my hair. So I went ahead and this is my flat iron. This is the flat iron I just got. I got it from Ulta and this is my first flat iron for me, like for me. I bought it for myself and it's mine, my personal flat iron. And it's a Babyliss Pro. I heard about this on TikTok and stuff, so that's why I got it. And then I got it from Ulta, like I said, and it was a deal where if you buy like a certain amount in that brand, you get a free like item and I got a free little mini flat iron. So I am gonna use that later in the video. And for this flat iron, I put it up all the way on the like highest um, heat and I had to change because it's about to get hot in here doing my hair. So I'm using that bio silk um, stuff for my hair. Like uh, I don't know what it does. I think it's like a heat protectant as well. But I use that on my hair and I'm going to section off that section. I want to use like the smallest amount. It could have been smaller than that, but I wanted to use really small pieces of hair because I want to only go over with the flat iron one time because this flat iron gets very very hot so I didn't want to put or do multiple passes on one section so you can see like I'm going very slow as well and that's how it looked when I was done like it looked pretty good in my opinion it looked really good for one pass so I'm gonna continue doing that for the rest of my hair I had to put my glasses on because I couldn't really see for real um when I did my hair also like when I did the roots I passed the roots maybe like three times not gonna lie but when I actually went down the strand of my hair, I passed it one time, if that makes sense. And all that steam is coming from the product. That's not my hair burning or nothing like that. That's from the product. And then I know this part, when I was doing like the crown of my head, I did take a little bit of a bigger section because my arms were getting tired and I just didn't want to stand there with my arms up for too long. So I did kind of rush and take a little bit of a bigger piece when I was doing the crown. But when I was done with that, I went back to doing smaller sections. So now I'm finishing up on this side and I'm doing the last piece and the last section. And I can finally move on to the other side and you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm taking a little section off and then I went ahead and when I came to the bio silk that I was putting in my hair, like the heat protectant stuff I was putting in, I put it on every individual section. Like on that part there, you probably saw me putting it in I put it on every like small section that I did I feel like it kind of helped a little bit better because it actually got every single strand versus putting it on a big section not every strand will be coated so I kind of did it that way so that I could make sure every piece got coated with the heat protectant and then I went ahead and I'm cutting I did this on the other side as well I didn't show it but when I was done with every section, I cut or trimmed the ends so that it would not be looking crazy. Especially if, like if I saw, I don't know if you just saw that, but I saw some pieces that were very like uneven and like looked crazy. So that I cut off immediately. I do at the end cut off some more, but if I'm there and I see it, I'm going to cut it off right away. As you can see, this is like real time and this is how slow I was going over every strand every pass this is about how slow i was going to make sure everything got coated and then i'm finally on the last section the last braid and i'm gonna just let y'all watch me finish up this last section here So I'm finally, finally done. I don't know how long it took me to do this, but it took obviously more than an hour. Um, and then I went ahead and cut more hair. I didn't cut a lot of hair because I cut my hair when it was in braids 
actually I braided my hair and then I cut it in braids and then I took it out and then I cut it. I cut my hair like two times prior to this or trimmed my hair two times prior. So I didn't really have to cut too much off. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I'm going to put a picture up because last year when I straightened my hair, it did not look this like silky. I'm pretty sure it's definitely from the flat iron because when I did it last year, I even blow dried my hair and everything and it did not look this way. Also cutting or trimming your ends does play a part in it. So make sure to trim your ends. So this part here, this is actually like two weeks later and that's how my hair is looking. Like it still looks pretty good. And I was not wrapping my hair at all. I don't really know how to wrap my hair. That part that I just showed, I did it, but it took me a long, long time to get it right. I really only wrapped my hair for like the video purpose, but the whole two weeks that I had gone with my hair being straight, I didn't wrap it at all. Um, but that's what it looked like. My roots were a little puffy. You can kind of see in the front there, they're a little puffy. I didn't fix it, but cause I wasn't going anywhere. If I'm going somewhere, I probably would have fixed it for sure. But this is what it was looking like after two weeks, it still looked pretty good. But I wanted to add some like curls to the bottom and I'm using the smaller flat iron. I could have used the big one, but I just didn't feel like pulling all that out. So I'm using the small one and it worked pretty well. This is also really good to use for like your roots. I should have probably used it for the roots, but I just went in and curled the ends just to see what it would look like. But yeah, this is how my hair looked and like the final result of my hair. It still looked pretty good after even two weeks of it being straight and not being wrapped. It looked pretty good to me. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.